guys and welcome back to another unfiltered gamer board game or card game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is guilty until proven innocent and in guilty until proven innocent you're going to be playing four to eight players it takes about 15 to 20 minutes to play and it's for ages depending on the game 10 or 11 and up slash 18 and up if you got the not safe for work version and in the game guilty until proven innocent you're basically going to be getting a player card numbered one through eight as well as a crime card and there's a deck of crime cards here every player is going to be selecting a crime card and then everybody's going to take those cards they've selected shuffle them up put them in the middle flip them up and players are going to then use accusations to try and guess which player committed which crime and the game is going to go on until everybody has matched up a crime card with a specific player with a unanimous vote from everyone else but that specific player after everybody has those matchings in front of them flip over the cards and if you are the person who had that crime you don't get any points you don't win and everybody else who did not get matched up correctly will win the game guilty until proven innocent that's the basic idea of the game let's go ahead and take it down below i'll show you what you get in the game then we'll come up and i'll talk about the game and show you a little playthrough we did on the live stream from last night and then after that i'll give you my review so here we have guilty until proven innocent and what it comes with in the game of course it's going to come with the box as well as the rules in the box here and in addition it'll come with two different sets of cards the first set of cards is going to be the player cards numbered one through eight depending on the number of players in the game is going to be uh how many of these you're going to deal out so if you're playing a six player game you'll take all of these but seven and eight which will get removed shuffle them up and then deal them out randomly let's go ahead and show you that so i'll go ahead and move seven and eight out we'll take the five six one two three and four and we'll shuffle these guys up and then after that we're going to go ahead and deal them out we'll just go ahead and pick different players and place them around on the board here so something something like that i suppose and then after that you're gonna have this deck of cards and this is the uh, crime deck or crime card deck and in this deck you're gonna have stuff like jaywalking or maybe cutting grass or chewing gum wearing a hat dancing uh wearing a hoodie uh, eating or drinking while driving using the internet pumping your own gas not being home before dark and driving a vehicle there's a quite a few other ones in this deck as well and what you're gonna do is have each player go around the board and select one crime and they can choose anyone they want and it's gonna be based on a crime that they could commit in the future so maybe this player might want to eat chicken which will be hidden here this player might go swimming often this player is likely to eat seafood well this one's going to be walking on the grass eating beef and then wearing indecent clothing the rest of these crime cards won't be needed and you can go ahead and simply move them off of the game then everybody's going to take their phone and they're going to take a picture of their card so that they have this specific crime on their uh, phone so that way you can't cheat and say it wasn't your card and if you're playing with a group of people who you can trust then don't bother doing that they're going to take all these cards here randomly face down and only the player who drew the card and took the card is going to be the person who knew what card was theirs and then you're going to go ahead and shuffle these cards up after you do that you're going to place them out and then you're going to go ahead and flip them face up then after you went ahead and flipped all these cards face up every single player is going to flip over their player number so we have five two three four one and six and from there then we're going to have the players in order go ahead and begin so player number one is going to then go ahead and accuse or switch so accusing works pretty simply you're going to choose one of these cards accuse a player of having uh, or of likely to commit that crime in the future and then everyone will vote and if it's an anonymous vote then that player is going to get that specific card so for instance if player six is likely to uh go swimming quite often player one might say i think player six's crime is going uh swimming and so everybody else will vote and if everybody here votes thumbs up he's he did it this crime will get attached to this specific player it will then go to the next player player number two maybe player number two is going to go ahead and select player five is eating chicken everybody will vote if the vote is no and if any one person doesn't agree then this crime will then go back to the middle of the board uh, otherwise it'll attach and it's gonna keep going on like that uh, the, the other the other action is simply let's say player three three here uh, wants to swap and he can he or she can go ahead and swap swimming and chicken uh, if need be or maybe instead of that he or she can go ahead and switch swimming with eating seafood and then every player whose cards were not swapped is going to vote uh, as to whether or not these crimes should be switched so like i said before when you do swimming and eating chicken and you swap these two players here then each player that isn't these two these four basically will vote and if it's a unanimous decision then these guys will go ahead and keep these the game is going to end when all of these cards attach to each individual player and there's no more swapping because everybody has a card. 
Then each player is going to reveal their phone or say what card was theirs. And anybody whose crime is not attached to that specific player is going to win. However, if your crime does get connected to you, you do, in fact, lose the game. In which case, you'll play another round of Guilty Until Proven innocent that's the basic idea of the game let's come up we'll talk about it i'll show you a little bit of screenplay as to how it's functioning and how it played last night on the stream and then we'll give you uh, my review so let's discuss guilty until proven innocent you can go ahead and see our highlights here and i'll just go ahead and discuss it while you look at this stuff and how it functioned basically us players are just going to select different things and go throughout the game and trying to accuse people this game is a social game in nature and there are a stack of cards you'll be able to choose and you doesn't you can choose any cards you basically want provided it's a thing that you're going to go ahead and select in the future uh basically there was a lot of accusations throughout the night people were pointing fingers people were saying oh i'd never do this even though that card might be theirs and you don't necessarily know who picked what and in fact sometimes it seems like a very obvious choice but maybe people have played other cards to kind of throw other players off there's a lot of randomization in the game because maybe you don't chew bubblegum but you could chew it in the future and so that kind of stuff can happen in the game and it just goes on and it's, people are swapping and whatnot the game can take anywhere from like literally a couple minutes when everybody just goes yes 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 to quite a bit of time if you have a pretty argumentative group the game has a lot of accusations and throwing around certain things it plays and functions like a party game and it probably would play pretty well if you had something to drink with it that being said let's go ahead and talk about the review we'll hit this playoff for a little bit longer as well in this game guilty until proven innocent it has a really nice concept and the idea is of course choosing a card of your uh, whatever you want from the deck placing it in front of you and then going throughout and choosing people who you think did specific crimes and also you want to keep your crime away from you it's very important if i watch a lot of movies and i picked watching movies i don't want that in front of me and i have to i have to pick that card knowing that there's at least one other player that's likely to have watched a lot of movies um in the game game it has certain things in the rules that say it's something like it's a crime you can commit in the future in my opinion there should be a stack of cards that will change every single time you play the game maybe it's a thing you would never do or a thing you've only done a couple times or it's a thing you only do at night or a thing uh, you uh, are likely to do today or a thing that you're gonna do next year and that is going to basically give you more variety as to what you want to do and during our live streams we did enact those specific rules after the first time we played the game and that being said, it kind of changes a little bit of how the game is played, your choices, and go, oh, you know, Michael never wears hats, so he definitely didn't pick that one. And so the rules function like that. And of course, you can be like, oh, well, he picked hats to throw everybody off. And so it becomes that kind of social uh, dilemma. Now, of course, you can enact in the rules that like, oh, well, in this case, you have to follow the rules, or in this case, you can go ahead and choose to not follow the rule or to follow the rule. Another cool suggestion I would have is in a separate playing deck that basically made you do certain actions based on when play people said certain things, when people accused you of certain things, or, uh, I don't know, for instance, you draw a card and everybody has additional card, and it's like, oh, whenever somebody says you did a, an action you didn't commit, you have to say, okay, then whatever you think. And so then people go, ooh, he keeps saying that. Okay, he said that for all of them now, but which one is the one where it was true? And so it kind of would add even more to the game. There's a little stack of cards here as far as what you need to do. And, and as for the amount of cards in the, in the game, this is not uh, necessarily uh, not enough. Uh, but I would want to have additional card decks that let us do different things. It would be kind of interesting to see actual crimes be in here. It's like what person would maybe a separate deck that says which crimes you would commit in the future. I'm not sure if this specific deck is necessarily everything you get in the game. I know that I saw on the Kickstarter, which is up, that you can go, there's going to be multiple different types of decks, as well as a not safe for work version, which is kind of cool because the more cards, the more replayability in this game, specifically if you're only playing with the base rules, which I probably wouldn't suggest. I would have you guys make up your own house rules for each single time you you guys want to play around changing the way the game is played in some unique way as well as of course just a nice extra cool action deck or a a, a, a passive ability that you have to do every every time somebody says it's not me or i didn't do it you have to hiccup or something like that that kind of gets people more engaged with uh what is going on and people have to pay attention to what other people are saying it removes the randomization of the game because one of my issues with the game is simply grant doesn't drive but the rules say it's a crime you might commit in the future and he might drive in the future in which case you know how do you even know there's not enough to go on and i like to have a little bit of evidence in my in my games that involve this kind of deduction i want to be able to deduce based on my knowledge of that person what they're likely to do or if i don't know them as a stranger maybe i will 
uh, I guess, stereotype in some way regarding what they wear or something like that to determine, oh, this person's not likely to drive a Corvette or, or something like that, right? Which could kind of change how it functions. Uh, the crimes in here are actually pretty interesting because you have something like daydreaming, so which is actually kind of, kind of interesting. Some people are definitely going to be more like daydreamers and other people won't. But then you have some like watching movies, oops, in which everybody pretty much is movies. So you have a lot of selection as for what this deck has to offer. But yeah, I just like to see a little more. Uh, as for us, we played it and we had a really good time. It was a lot of fun with us provided we had those the, the basic house rules in in the section of the game but i can see if you play by the base rules it can get possibly stale or at least there's not enough replayability in it for me i would want to see a couple extra decks added as well as the fact that it's so unique as far as how the crimes are being um you know people are blaming people left and right and it's super quick and super easy and it's a little party game that you can throw out pretty much anywhere and i think if all these changes were enacted i would really really enjoy this game as for me it's just it's a fine party game uh that needs more replayability but overall definitely worth checking out if you're interested and if you actually want to determine for yourself whether you want to pick up the game you can actually go on our live stream on Facebook from last night, or I'll go ahead and post the link in the description, and take a look at the game yourself and see if you want to go ahead and back this game guilty until proven innocent on Kickstarter. The choice is yours. Outro. Alright guys, thanks for watching the Unfiltered Gamer board game review. If you like this video, go ahead and check out the rest of our videos here on YouTube. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Sharing these videos out helps a whole bunch. It helps the creators making these games, and it helps me get more people to see these cool games made by a ton of great people that have really, really unique and interesting ideas, great ideas, spectacular ideas, things that you should probably have other people take a look at, uh, Kickstarter games and all that good stuff. There's so many games coming out and we want to make sure everybody gets an idea of what they're going to be able to pick out. So I, I think it's a, I think it's a good idea. I think you should share it right now. And the bell button. Don't think about that. All right, guys, go ahead to our website, unfiltergame.com. We're going to be giving away another game fairly shortly. I know it's been about three or four days since we've done any giveaways for that site, but we will have some up very shortly. We're also going to have a site overhaul within the next two weeks, which will be really cool. It's going to have a lot of unique features, and it's going to look a lot more pizzazzier, snazzier, spazzier, as well as taking a look at our live streams. Like I talked about before, we showed you a little bit of the live streams going on. 7.30 p.m. PST every Wednesday. We give away games. We sponsor games just like the one you saw today. Party games games, strategic games, puzzle games, all sorts of games showing on our live stream. And it's so much fun. The community is so popping. It's, it's, it's happening on our live streams. And I just really appreciate it. I appreciate you guys watching these videos as well as I appreciate you. And I look forward to seeing you guys next time. As long as you're not guilty until proven. Gu guilty. Guilty. Guilty.